Kings. <laughs> Welcome back to Passport Kings. Today we're gonna hang out in Vegas and see if it is everything that it is hyped up to be. In game. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com. Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel enthusiast and travel business owner. I make videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations while letting you know how you can get started in the $8 billion travel industry for yourself. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ringing the bell so you can be the first thing to know when I upload new content. My wife's brother was getting married. They had an amazing idea, which was to get married in Las Vegas a few miles off of the Strip. Of course, I felt like this would be a perfect time to do a Passport Kings Landmarks episode in Sin City. I know that they say what happens in Vegas should stay in Vegas, but what the hell, I'm spilling the beans. Although the population of Nevada is huge, the blocks that make up what is internationally known as the Strip is not very large. If you are feeling energetic and the weather is not too hot, you can walk the entire thing in maybe two hours. If you have ever traveled in downtown Manhattan, You'll get a little idea of how Las Vegas looks, but the difference is, instead of being in the front lobby of where business is taking place, you'll be in the front lobbies of where action, fun, drinking, and turning all the way up is everywhere. Every single hotel and resort have full-blown casinos in its lobbies. The machines will be loudly singing the song of chance, making you believe that if you were to risk a couple of dollars, you'll make enough back to pay for your entire trip or more. Unfortunately, and as the saying goes, the house always wins. So if you are lucky enough to get a quick win, even if it's like 100 bucks, I suggest you collect it and run for the hills. Speaking of hills, Las Vegas is surrounded by mountain ranges for as high and as long as the eye can see. When there is not a group of tall hotels blocking your view, you will see a beautiful mountain scene that is the thing of postcards. They are hard to really put into perspective in a video because you will not get the feeling of how grand they are from watching it on your screen. You will really have to see it in real life to truly feel how small humans really are. When it came time to eat, a taco place named El Gordo is the best place to eat hands down. No one in the establishment speaks a lick of English. Even the seating area will remind you of a store in Mexico or Central America. But I don't think you'll find a more authentic taco in Vegas or quite frankly anywhere in America. To find El Gordo, you'll have to go completely north of the strip all the way up until you see the hotel called Circus Circus. It will be a little store on the right that'll probably have a long line outside. When it comes to where you should stay, in the past I've made the mistake of staying at a hotel based on the price being $30 or $40 cheaper than other more well-known hotels. Once I stayed at Westgate, because not only were the prices cheaper, but the perks they offered like seeing a comedy show, dinner coupons, and shuttle buses was also offered to us in return for attending what they claimed would be a 90 minute timeshare presentation. My wife and I used to frequent timeshare presentations anytime we would get a chance, especially in places like Orlando, where you could get Disney and Universal tickets for sometimes half off. But at this point in our lives, and being that I'm now an independent travel professional, no amount of discounts would make it make sense for us to destroy the beginning of one of our precious days on vacation to sit through what turns out to be more like a three hour presentation that ends off with a pushy sales closer that will pull every sales technique in the book to overcome your direct nose to their offers to sell you a room. I have already started writing my script for an entire episode about why timeshares make little to no sense for the average vacationer. So stay tuned and I'll put that up as soon as I'm finished with it. Now the best part about this getaway is I was able to pay for it using profits I've been making by becoming an independent travel professional. Using a combination of planet marketing and IntelliTravel is the best way I've found to make an extraordinary income while doing what we love doing, traveling. Join me and you'll be able to work from home or any location in the world on a part-time or full-time basis just using your laptop and cell phone. There is no experience necessary. All of the training is provided by wonderful people who already have amazing results with helping families financially in the travel industry. If you also love to travel, trust me, this will be a no-brainer. Watch the two videos in the link, then contact me to get started. But if you just want to take a trip to one of these lap of luxuries, then let Passport Kings be your travel agent. The wedding was amazing. Vegas has wedding chapels all across the city, and they are a whole lot less cheesy than what I was led to believe from what I saw on TV, and what was called shotgun weddings. This was not a drive-through. 
The bride and groom's families gathered for a sophisticated wedding. Everyone stayed in the same hotel and the newlyweds got a penthouse suite to share for their first night being married. After that, the couple went off to California to take an amazing cruise that I planned for them and the other parties mostly left. Only a few of us stayed around for an extra day to sleep off the liquor, party one more time, and see the sights that we had missed. Ubers are all over the place, readily available, and surprisingly cheap. Even Uber XLs that fit quite a few people in at once were pennies on the dollar of what we are used to spending all over the United States. The world has plenty of amazing places to visit, and although the US can sometimes seem like a nightmare, geographically it is still a very beautiful place full of one-of-a-kind landmarks. You don't always have to explore outside of our borders to see the world's beauty. Take a look at all of the wonders that we have right in our backyard. So yo, when you come to Vegas, remember to have an itinerary, unless you're gonna be walking around by without much to do and nowhere to go. So contact Passport King so I can set up your trip to Vegas and that way, that way you can get to see all the hot spots and enjoy the amount of time that you're here. Don't go to Vegas blind, go in the know like a king of Passport King. Peace.